the new land. The next day, Kirsten and her family started the long journey across the country to Minnesota. Not even Papa could guess how long the trip would take. The agent will help us find our way, and we'll see what happens, he said. At the top of the path into the park, Kirsten met Marta. We are leaving today, Kirsten said. Are you going too? Marta shook her head. Not until tomorrow, she replied. Oh no, I was sure we'd be traveling together, exclaimed Kirsten. Me too, Marta answered softly. Are you going to take another ship now, Kirsten? No, I think we're going to take a train, Kirsten said. What do you think a train looks like, Marta? I don't know exactly. My father says it will make a loud noise and a lot of smoke. We might be afraid of trains, Marta said. Kirsten grinned. Noise won't hurt us, she said. And Papa says a train is like many wagons all traveling together. Maybe you'll get on our train tomorrow. Wouldn't that be lucky? Marta caught her lower lip beneath her teeth. Or we won't ever see each other again, she said. Kirsten took her friend's hand, but your family is going to Minnesota just like mine is. We're sure to meet on, on the way, at least I hope so, she added. I'll miss you, Kirsten, Marta murmured. Kirsten looked down at the dusty boots, saying goodbye to the people she loved was the hardest thing in the world to do. She didn't want Marta to see the tears that stung her eyes, so she took a deep breath before she said, Marta, I'll tell you what my grandmother said to me when we left Sweden. Marma said, when you're lonely, look at the sun. Remember that we all see the same sun. Do you do that? Marta said, uh, asked. Do you look at the sun and think of your grandmother? When I miss Marma, I look at the sun and pray for her, Kirsten said. Now Marta managed a small smile. Then when I miss you, I'll look at the sun. Will you do the same? Same, yes, and say a prayer, or I'll, I will. I'll say, God bless Marta. I'll say a prayer, too, Marta agreed, and I'll be looking for you everywhere. Kirsten sighed. She was going to another new place. It seemed to her she would always feel like a Swedish girl who was far from home. Home, that's a place when you're happy. A place where you belong. How can America really be her my home? She thought. Then she followed her parents down the path to meet the agent and the ten new families. First, there was a fierce roar and a, um, a hiss. Then, the long scream of a whistle. Kirsten's heart flip-flopped. Maybe Marta was right to be afraid of the trains. The engine looked like a black iron house on fire. Smoke bo boiled from the giant smoke bu uh, smokestack. Live sparks and red coils showered down with the smoke. Kirsten stayed close to Mama, but Mama was worried, too. She squeezed Kirsten's hand extra hard as they climbed aboard.